Okay, uh, today I'm going to find out um, if a Buetti AC200 can uh, power a water pump. I've seen that a lot of times on the forums. People are asking the, the question, but I have never seen a specific answer to it. So, right now I have my Buetti AC200, and I don't know if you can see it or not out here, but it's 90% charged right now. And I'm going to attempt to operate this three-quarter horsepower pump. Now, a three-quarter horsepower pump, if you do the calculation, it has, you got to get this right here, multiply um, horsepower is equal to 746 watts. Multiply that by 0.75 and you get 560 watts. So that's how much watts it's going to have to pull. But however, there's going to be a large surge in the, in the amperage, and it's going to go way up. So I don't know at this point if it's going to be able to pull the initial surge of the amperage that comes into the pump. Okay, I got the probes on here, and I'm reading 242 volts. So the Buetti cannot uh, put out 242 volts. So we're going to change this pump over to 120 volts and uh, And do it that way and see if it can operate it on 120 volts now whenever you go down On the voltage when you have the voltage uh, The amperage coming into this pump will double So let me go to the circuit breaker and turn off the circuit breaker before I switch that over Okay now in my circuit breaker right here we're going to hear the pump. It's got two poles on here for our 240. I'll switch that off. Make sure anytime you work on your pumps that that is switched off, the power is switched off, and double check it outside. Okay, I got the probes on, uh, on my uh, pressure switch right here, and this is when the uh, power is coming in. And we look at the meter, and it's reading a uh, point. 214, so I'm sure that they are, there is no power coming into this pump. Now, the next thing we have to do is we have to take off this cover right here. And I already uh, loosened both of these uh, screws that's back here. And you take this back off on this particular pump and you look back here. This switch right here is at 230 volts. So you have to take this like this here, a wrench on there. Just a little bit. You switch that over, and you gotta make sure it's all the way switched over. Now I got to switch over to uh, 115 volts. Next thing we have to do is connect this uh, big extension cord up to this pressure switch, and this is a uh, number 14 wire on this. So what I'll do first is disconnect. This is where the power source is coming in. I'll take that off. So I'll take this one here off. And these are power wires coming into it from the circuit breaker. So now I will hook these are the this is the hot wire coming in. This is the uh, neutral wire coming in and um, this wire here is not being used. This red wire is not being used. Um, so I'll connect the screw here and this is just temporary so 
it doesn't have to be you know put it down here like it's going to be permanent or anything because this is just an experiment it's so it doesn't make any difference which terminal you put the hot wire on so I'll just stick, stick this one here down and this one makes contact and take this white wire over here and tighten it down so it's making contact so both of these now are making contact Now what we want to do next is we want to plug this into the Buetti. Here's the AC. It's even hard for me to see out here. So AC should be on. Yeah, AC is on now. And take this plug here. Plug it in to the Buetti. Okay. Okay, we'll turn on the water here to release the pressure so the pressure switch will turn on. And we'll see what happens. So, uh, one thing I want to add is I want that uh, uh, you will have to switch your pump to 120 volts, as I mentioned before. But yeah, in an emergency, if uh, your power goes out, you can definitely hook your Buetti to your uh, your pump, and it, and it will run it. So uh, that's great news. So hope you learned something here. If you like this video, uh, please give me a thumbs up. And I'll talk with you later.